What is up? Today we're talking about photography websites. I have done episodes on photography websites before, but it seems like it's something that photographers are having a lot of trouble with. So today we're deep diving into photography websites. I'm going to show you my favorite, some absolutely sick photography websites that I'm super excited about. And I'm also going to go over the 15 things that every single photography website needs to have. So if you're in the middle of working on your photography website, make sure you tune in, make sure you get your notepad ready and go over these 15 things. Make sure that your site has every single one of them. Welcome, by the way, I am Cardi. Thank you for tuning in to my live stream. I am a professional photographer, educator, YouTuber. I, I'm not really a YouTuber, dude. I just, I want to help a thousand, 10,000, a hundred thousand, a million photographers get to the next level. Right now, we're working on getting to 10,000. I've got whole bunch of new subscribers who have watched my recent video called the best advice that nobody listens to that video has got 125,000 views which is kind of breaking my brain it's kind of breaking my brain but um the fact that it's getting so much attention is actually pretty beautiful welcome 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 all right let's get into today's content yes or yes First thing, if you're thinking about making a website, is you have to embrace simplicity. Simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. When you embrace simplicity when it comes to your website, it's the cornerstone of a successful website. By focusing on the essentials and eliminating unnecessary clutter, you create a clean and a visually appealing platform. This streamlined approach, it ensures that visitors can easily navigate through your site. They can find the information that they need and they can enjoy your stunning photography without distractions. Remember, simplicity doesn't mean sacrificing your creativity. Simplicity is all about presenting your art in a way that captivates and resonates with your audience. Look at this site from Zig Zian Yuan. I definitely cannot um, <laughs> pronounce this, but one of my favorite, favorite websites. So that's Embrace Simplicity. Number two is optimized navigation now seamless navigation is key when it comes to keeping your visitors engaged should limit the number of menu items so you provide a clear and straightforward user experience you have to make sure that your menu is easily accessible and it's either at the top left or on the top here above, like it is here. Navigation. You also should have a home button, meaning if wherever you are on the website, if you push your home button, it's going to bring you right back to the beginning of the, of the site. This, this nav allows users to experience your site in a very easy to take in way. We're looking at the work of Jeff Lipsky, who has just one of my absolute favorite lives. <laughs> he happens to also be a photographer, but I absolutely love Jeff Lipsky. I love his site and a photographer that watches. His name is Matt Howe, is also an art director, and Matt has hired Lipsky to work with and says he is a absolute dope dude. This is the work and website of Jeff Lipsky. Super clean, simple, easy navigation. All right, so an effective contact page. 
Now I'm going to show my own contact page to talk about an effective contact page because I think my contact page is pretty pimpin. Your contact page is your gateway to potential opportunities and connections. So make sure you prompt it predominantly to display your contact information, which you see I have right here. Including the footer on every page, which you'll notice my website, I have a footer and it has my contact information on every single page that you look at. That's something that it's very easy to add. I would suggest adding your footer and making sure that you have your copyright and your contact information on your footer. Also, I make it easy for my visitors to reach out to me. All they need to do is click and it pops open an email program and that email program sends an email out my phone number is here, my address is here, and it's also the place that I have my testimonials. And you can also click this and schedule a quick 15 minute me meeting, which I use Calendly for. This makes it really easy for people to actually book you. Speaking of booking you, let's talk a little bit about the power of blogging. I started my A Life Behind the Camera blog in February, and I've, I've been publishing six months straight every Saturday with no interruptions. I haven't missed a single week. Your blog is a canvas for storytelling. It goes beyond just your photography. I regularly update my blog with my best work. I share behind the scenes that I don't show on my website. It engages my audience with my narrative about my photography. It not only showcases your talent as a photographer, but it creates a personal connection with your readers. The trust and rapport leads to repeat visits. And as your audience eagerly anticipates your next update, you basically you have a mailing list. My newsletter goes directly into my subscribers inbox. So I know they're going to read it. People don't see your work on social media as much as they do when they're opting into a newsletter. So I have combined my newsletter with blogging and it's called a, a life behind the camera. I use the platform called Substack. I made a whole video on Substack and why you also should be using it. Substack is the dope shit. Get on it. It's super easy to monetize. There's power in blogging. The next thing that you have to be doing with your website, by the way, is leveraging your analytics. I'm like a stats addict and I love looking at my analytics. I use Google Analytics to monitor how much traffic my website is getting. I can see where people are coming from, how long they're looking, what pages they're looking at. I get all the information to see what's holding people's attention and what people aren't looking at. So leverage your analytics. I look at analytics on my blog, on my YouTube, and of course, what we're talking about today on my website. Next, a great about me page. You have to have a captivating about me page. And Miles Aldrich, it's a really nice example of a captivating First of all, he's been photographed here by Peter Lindbergh. He has an incredible bio which deep dives into his life and work. And it was written by um, a curator of photography from the Victoria and Albert Museum. It opens with a quote, Miles sees color coordinated graphically pure hard edged reality. And his quote is from David Lynch. So having a compelling amazing um, about me page it's your opportunity to show the person behind the lens it it really 
establish a personal connection with your audience. You get to share your journey, your passion, your client list, and your unique perspective as a photographer. You should always have a self-portrait or a photograph photographed by someone that you respect in order to capture you. You should definitely have a high-end photograph of you and something that really shows you as a person, but also shows you with your camera. When you have a strong About Me page and a strong picture, you're connecting with potential people who could be booking you. People want to see what the person looks like, who they're hiring. So make sure you have a great photo on your About Me page. The next big point is, is unique design. Rankin is a photographer based out of the UK and the design of his site is just absolutely mind bending. Your website design is a reflection of your brand identity. Having a custom design that's tailor made by a skilled designer, it sets you apart from a generic template and it elevates your website to a professional level. When you customize templates, it allows you to infuse your personality and your artistic vision into every element from the color schemes that you choose to typography. Even if you use a theme, take the time to personalize it with creative choices that make it uniquely yours. There are definitely formats for how your website should look, but you can tweak it, customize it, make it your own, and the photography is your own through literally, I've had a website since 1996. You can imagine 25 years of having a website 25 years of there being photography websites there's it's now kind of come down to a system as to the way that art directors designers photo editors want to see the work displayed so you have to kind of fit a little bit into a template but you can make it your own all right the next thing that is super important is speed and reliability welcome skillful thanks for hanging out with us another thing Speed and reliability. I'm sure you guys know Tin House Studio. Tin House Studio is also known as Scott Chuchino. Scott Chuchino is an amazing food photographer and an incredible presenter of websites. His website is an example of speed and reliability. In this fast paced world, a slow loading website can deter your visitors and literally harm your reputation. Invest in a quality hosting platform or website system to ensure that your site performs flawlessly without frustrating delays. Regularly check your site's performance, fix broken links, and always be concentrating on creating a smooth and enjoyable browsing experience for your viewers. By, pro by prioritizing speed and reliability, you show your audience that you care about their time and their attention. Tin House Studio, Scott, Scott Ch Chino is just brilliant. And if you see how fast his site loads, this is how it has to happen. The work has got to get to your client's eyeballs as fast as possible. All right. The next really important point is you kind of got to master SEO capabilities, you know? Search engine optimization is how you increase your website's vis visibility in search engine results. You have to optimize your on site content with keywords, metadata, descriptions captions to make it easier for search engines to actually understand and rank your website. Offsite SEO means backlinks and other websites linking to your site, which gives your website more visibility. But the most important thing is you have to do some research on SEO and learn how to make your site actually show up. If you go to Google, and I'm gonna go to Google right now. If you go to Google and type editorial, oops, portraits, I can't spell today. 
Toronto. Hey, look, Steve Cardi, right there. You don't even need to know my name. But if you search Editorial Portraits Toronto, you're going to get me on the first page with photo examples. So that's called understanding SEOs and that's SEO strategies working perfectly. So important. You got to also infuse a little bit of personality into your website. I mean, I'm going to show you Scott um, Tin House Studios website again when it comes to infusing personality. Look at the color. Look at his visual sensibility and the way that he uses color for products. Look at his graphic design sensibility. Look at how technically perfect the work is. You can see that even if you don't know this photographer, you can see that he infuses personality into his photography and into his website. Also, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly important is quality over quantity. It's not about showing every photograph that you've ever made in your life. It's about really specific photography that you know that if you're, a client sees it, it's going to stop them dead in their tracks. It's not about quantity. It's about quality, quality, quality. Because we all can tell the difference between quality work and swag. Quality over quantity. Freshness and consistency. The next thing that's super important is you kind of got to maintain that freshness and consistency as far as trying to build a loyal audience. You got to regularly update your website with that fresh content, yo. Whether it's new photographs, whether it's talking about your blog posts or posting your blog directly on your website, video material, by constantly delivering value and creating exciting content, you keep your audience coming back to your website more than just a, hey, I saw it, I never come back. Additionally, your style and, and how your visual signature translates through your galleries also reinforces your brand identity and creates a cohesive experience for your viewers. Also, number 13, mobile-friendly design. Like, come on. Do we got to talk about the fact that your website has to also look amazing on a phone? You see that little C icon? That's my Steve Cardi. And you just touch that and it goes right to stevecardi.com. Of course, I have a mobile friendly, super responsive design. And if you go to my website on a phone, you can just hit that button and save it to your home screen. So my website is also kind of an app because you can save the shortcut to your website. You can tell your viewers to save the shortcut to your website, to your home screen, save the shortcut to my website, to your home screen. And again, I have a cool icon and it just looks cool on the phone and it's an easier way for you to share your work. So I've completely embraced responsive mobile design it looks amazing on a 4k screen or a laptop screen or an ipad screen or an, a phone screen so it basically mobile traffic is well over half of the traffic that's so going to come to your website it's going to be mobile so make sure that your mobile site is also a nice experience that's user user friendly and keep in mind you can also track how many people are looking at your site on mobile. So yeah, yeah. Social networking, obviously we got to use social media. The fact that we have to kind of sucks, but we do actually have to really embrace social media. For me, my belief is we have the ability to maintain like two social media sites and our website. So. That's kind of what I do is I maintain Instagram, which I post, you know, a couple times a week. I'm not 
insane about posting to Instagram, but I have managed to get over 10,000 over 10,000 people following me on Instagram. Social media is unnecessary evil. We have to deal with it, but we can be strategic. The way that I deal with my social media, we all have to have Instagram, but as far as X or formerly Twitter, I just use X as a feed to show everything that's happening in my life. All my video content, all of my Instagram posts, everything just shows up here in my X feed. So if you want to know how to follow everything that I do, follow X, follow me on X and you get to see everything. But YouTube is a very important social media strategy for me. So I believe that photographers should also be embracing YouTube, embracing video content, it, it, getting used to talking to the camera, getting used to being on camera. I'm going to make a whole video on how important it is, in fact, for you, the emerging photographer, to get used to talking to a camera. Not only does it make you more confident, it makes you better at talking to strangers. It also makes you better in meetings. It makes you better when you have to talk about your photography to someone who has the power to hire you. Talking on camera makes you like a better communicator. So if you guys are interested in me making video specifically on why photographers need to start getting better at talking to camera, leave that in the comments and I will make that one promptly. The last, last thing is harnessing the power of email marketing. I touched on it a little bit earlier, but I believe that every photographer should have a mailing list. I started my mailing list again in February and the amount of people who have joined my mailing list organically has been unbelievable. The reason that I use Substack is because every email that I've ever sent out is all aggregate here, aggregated, all put together here beautifully in this nice magazine format. I also have paid subscribers that get access to special paid only posts that I do. So having a newsletter, you're able to basically People are opting in. They're saying, yes, when you do something, send it to me. When you are doing an event, tell me about it. When you're doing an in-person thing, tell me about it. A photo walk, I want to know. When someone signs up for your newsletter, it's almost the most valuable, the most valuable thing that you can get, which is someone's email address that wants information from you. So there's power in email marketing and there's power in opting having people opt in my suggestion which is the last number 15 is make sure that you have joined my mailing list on your website and are using a way to gather that mailing list and send propaganda out to people my suggestion substack it is absolutely free it'll change your life all right guys that is 15 things that you need to have within your website just to do a fast review Embrace simplicity, optimize navigation, an effective contact page, utilize the power of blogging, leverage analytics, create a captivating about page, use unique design, prioritize speed and reliability, master SEO strategies, infuse your website with personality. It's always quality over quantity. You have to maintain freshness and consistency. You have to embrace a mobile friendly design. You have to embrace social networking and use the power of email marketing. Make sure that you have a mailing list on your website. All right. So that is, you know, 15 of my favorite uh, things that you act, not even my favorite. You just have to have this shit happening on your website. Let's get into my favorite photo sites. Just hands down, best photo sites going right now. We're gonna bring it right back to 
<laughs> Let's go, Vicky. We're going to bring it right back to Scott Ciccino, Mr. Tin House Studios. I am ranking this just hands down as one of my favorite websites. There is just no doubt that this is the way that you present work. This is the way that you do it. The pictures are big. The pictures are bold. You can navigate quickly with arrows front and back. Look at how fast this website is. This is one of my favorite websites. Shout out to Tin House Studio on YouTube. Scott Ciccino, he's website number one. I just got to rank it because it is dope. This next photographer, if you can say this, Z-I-Q-I-A-N-Q-I-A-N. If you have the ability to say this, um, go grab yourself a cookie because I do not. But this is another one of my absolute favorite websites. I love this work so much and it is so absolutely compelling. I think that this photographer is gifted. Not only are all of these photographs self-portraits, all of these photographs are self-portraits. She has such an elegant way of making photographs, a beautiful sensibility and an absolutely gorgeous website. This is favorite website number two let me know if you guys are feeling it throw down the like high quality contents give me the love if you're feeling it number three j may zell j may zell famously said shooting photographs without saying something is worse than actually speaking without saying something Jay Maisel's website is put into these beautiful collections and I just love looking at this website and the photography. The fact that the website is 18% gray is also a very interesting angle. I've never done a gray website. I've done a black website. I have done a white website. I have never done a gray website, but I am definitely thinking about it. One of my viewers, Vicky Sonic, is in chat. She is working and has been working on a gray website for the last three months. We're going to share it on Thursday. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Jay Maisel, one of my other favorite websites. Another, Volandez. Welcome, Mr. Jimmy T. Let's go, baby. Volandez is another photographer that I just absolutely love. He's a YouTuber. You guys have to know him from YouTube. If you're not following Volandez, what is wrong with you? He makes amazing content and his website is kind of a reflection of him in every way. It's just, it's how he shoots. It's how his work looks, the way that he shoots film, the borders. I just, I'm really into this shooter. He doesn't just shoot film. He does shoot digital, but again, one of my favorite websites of the minute. You can definitely see the theme with the white websites that's really happening right now. Again, the work of Volandez. Loving Volandez. If you're not subscribed to Volandez on YouTube, Get on it. I mentioned him in my YouTube channels worth your watch time. Another sick photographer. We're almost done here. We got Dan Winters. Dan Winters, his photography is bananas. And the website, the website layout, how clean it navs, it's very, very gorgeous. He also has a very distinct visual signature that comes through in all of his photographs the photography of dan winters and again one of my favorite sites because of just how smooth and easy this site is to use dan winters all right Woo -wee. let's go matt black matt black this guy's photography is just crazy 
He is a documentary shooter. He makes insane photographs. And his website is so simple, so clean. He shoots squares, which tells me Hasselblad. I just love the sensibility. Love, love the use of space and love how you're really forced to just look at the photographs. Like you can't not look at his photographs. Yes or yes. This is the work of Matt Black and website of Matt Black. Sick, right? I think so, definitely. By the way, if you're tuned in live, thank you. I appreciate everybody who hangs out with me live as I do these live shows. It's kind of dope for me to hang out with y'all, you know? Appreciate it. All right. Nathan Perkle, another great website, man. I just... Nathan Perkle, look at this guy's website. Look at how he's using not just stills, but GIFs. GIFs, video clips within his overview. It just makes the look and feel of this guy's work super, super sick. I really love the look of this website. Looking at his editorial work, I love this. I love this so much. I love this so much. Commercial. Very, very, very swaggy website from Nathan Perkle. Hope you guys are feeling it. Tom Medvich. Tom Medvich, dude, this guy's site just like hurts my brain a little bit, you know? It just hurts my brain a little bit. I'm going to show you guys this guy. Have a look at Tom Medvedic. Tom Medvedic. I got to close some tabs here. We going. Oh, shit. Don't close Tom. Let's get into Tom Medvedic. Look at this guy's website. Look at the work. Look at the website. Look at the work. Look at the website yes or yes are you not are you not entertained like what i just let's go creative reptiles let's go appreciate you being here look at this photography come on now doesn't it just bother you doesn't it bother you when people are so creative and the presentation is just so 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 sick this shoe is the shoe is the shot that actually made me find this website so 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 interesting to look at this guy's work so interesting to look at this guy's work yes or yes so great tom medvich let's look at some beverages yes Uh, hello, color. Hello, sharpness. Guys, my next video is on specializing. I have filmed it. It is in the edit. I am very excited about this next video. Um, we're dropping it this week. We are looking at the work of Tom Medvedic. Very, very cool food and drink category. I hope you guys are feeling it. Ana Diaz. Now, Ana Diaz is a photographer, female, shoots for Playboy. Her website is nuts. Like just absolutely everything that you would hope for, for a web from a photography website and more. It's great behind the scenes it's hyper niched it really shows exactly her niche which she shoots for playboy um she's amazing anna diaz is just like an inspirational photographer inspirational photographer let's look at a little bit of her covers like <laughs> 
<laughs> Again, a woman shoots these photographs, which is what makes her just so goddamn cool. I love Ana Diaz. She is dope, and her website is bananas. Bananas. Ana Diaz. All right. Alan Schaller. Alan Schaller is like the reason why. Like, I don't even think that I'm qualified to ever make street photos. Alan Schaller and his website, I, Alan Schaller, his YouTube videos, the series that Leica has done on him. I love this guy's work and I love his website. He really has it going on with the way that he includes quotes every once in a while as far as his process, his unbelievable discipline to shooting monochromatic. And again, I love how bold the text is. I'm really, really into the work of Alan Schaller. This is his site. It's surprising that I'm seeing color photography here. I didn't know that he shot color at all. Um, Alan Schaller. And I think we have one last website. This website is Yuko. Yuko Photo. And look at this photographer's use of color. And the way that it starts with red. And then... It goes into purples and blues. And then as you go down, it goes into greens and yellows and oranges. Look at the way that the colors work on this website. Like this guy is really, really good. I don't even know if it's a guy. I just know it is Yuko. A really, really well laid out website. Look at how they jump between red background, pink background, white background. It's all making the photographs just pop. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. My standards for photography websites are high and yours should be as well. I hope today inspired you. I hope today inspired you to like, first of all, get into your website. Like, like no lie, get into your website, deep dive into your website because that's your store. That is literally the first impression that anybody has on you is going to be from your website. It's it's your first line of offense. I've been tweaking and working my website for a very, very, very long time, but it's never done. It's never finished. I have so much more that I can do with my website in order to make it as punchy and effective as I think that it should be. You guys also should be considering and thinking about your website as much as I think about my website, as much as I think about websites in general. Again, I'll say your website is first line of defense. It's the first line of offense. You have to make it easy to find. Search editorial portraits, Toronto. Guess what? Steve Cardi photographer. First page within the first three photographers. And that's because of SEO. That's because of my specialty. I shoot editorial portraits. That's what I do. So um, however you want to shape it, call me a people photographer. Call me a magazine photographer. Call me, um, I don't know, portrait photographer. I shoot people. That's it. And anything that people do, I shoot them doing that stuff too. That's called lifestyle. So I've managed to, I've managed to create a website that really is findable and I get booked through my website 
pretty much exclusively. So take your website seriously, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please consider subscribing. It's free to subscribe, you know. All you got to do is hit that little bell icon. You'll get notified every time I go live. I've got literally 7,000 new subscribers over the last 28 days. Holy shit. Like, it hurts my head to even think about that, bro. Like, it hurts my head to even think about how many people are watching me now. How many people have found my channel? How many people are hoping for me to help them get to the next level with their photography? You know, and that's amazing. By the way, our next episode Thursday is photo reviews. If you want your photos reviewed, you have to be a member. Photo reviews are for members only. So become a member here on my YouTube channel, connect your Discord account to your YouTube account, and then you'll see all these new channels pop up that are all my submission channels. I have to limit how many photographs I look at. And I also want people who are serious about becoming better at photography, serious about maybe becoming a professional photography, maybe increasing that side hustle to something that actually is making you money. That's what I'm here for. I'm trying to help you get to the next level, but I'm not really wanting to look at iPhone photos. I'm not really wanting to look at iPhone photos. I'm wanting to look at people who are really caring about the craft. They've bought equipment. They're invested. They're stuck. You're trying to get to the next level. That's why I have a membership system. Join your Discord to your YouTube and blah, blah, blah. You can submit. That's going to make it a lot easier, a little bit more streamlined for me to be looking at photos. And it's going to give you value for becoming a member of this channel. The other thing that I'm going to start doing, like, here's the goal right now. As you can see right there, we are at 35 members. When that membership number gets to a number like 500, I'm turning off ads for all my podcasts. And my podcasts are then going to be completely powered by the members. I'm going to literally turn ads off of all my podcasts. And again, you'll know that if you're watching ad free content, you're getting it because of the members of this channel. So I'm a special thanks to Oki, who literally one person has gifted 20 memberships to my channel, 20. So he's wanting my channel to grow. So if you found yourself with a free membership to my channel, thank Oki. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed today's content. I hope it inspired you to get your ass moving on your goddamn website. Stop screwing around. Your website is the most important thing that you have that sells you as a photographer. It's how people take you seriously. No one cares about Instagram. People care about Instagram, but not the right people. You want people who have the power to book you. You want to be able to search photography, Phoenix, and your work comes up, you know? So yeah, anyways, specializing is the next video. I'm going to be grinding on that for the rest of the week. I'm hoping to have that out before uh, Friday. Um, hopefully that one will get 100,000 views too. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching me live. If you're watching the replay of this, let's go. Big love for all of you who watch this after the fact. Thank you for watching live or after the fact. Don't be confused. Do come back again. I love you much. Call your mom. Norez, this video is watchable as a video right this second. As soon as I stop this live stream, you'll see it in the Ask a Photo Pro podcast playlist. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Showing up is the hardest part, guys. Get that website moving. Thanks so much for watching.